Up, what up, what up, y'all? It's snake feeding day. I've had a few of you ask for me to do one of these. And I know my buddy, who I'm watching a snake for, would uh, enjoy getting to see this. So, it's feeding time for heisties. Come on. Come on, one of you. He knows you're there. Bam! Oh. Oh, hey, we got one hanging out inside. We got two and one. Two and one. Oh, oh, one got out. Alright, I dropped all four in. You got one. Oh, yeah. One attack already. That's what's up. I'm a hungry boy. Sorry about the dishwasher sounds in the background. The old lady before she left to work decided to do a dishwasher run. Let him hang out with his little feeding, little feeding friends. About a minute and a half in, I'm gonna do a pausey. All right, looks like the first kill is out of the way, and he's going to feed. Hi, heist. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yep. Well, oh. might have himself a little curled wrong for the next attack. Oh, he's bashful. He sees the light. He's like, all right, I got a light on me. I'm bashful. Oh, he's already aiming for number two. Sorry, Mises. Oh, shit, yeah. Number two's already in sight. Oh, no. Nope. Maybe. He's got number two right there. We'll see. This is one of my favorite parts of the day. This is when it comes to the weekend feedings. Oh, here we go. He's not even going for the one I thought he was going to go for. He's got two inside. Oh, he's, pin he's pinged it. He pinged it. He knows one's there. Oh, here we go. Round two. Round two. Oh, started two. We almost had a round two going, folks. Is he gonna get the? Yep, yeah, your little buddy's dead. I'm sorry. He knows it's there. I might be throwing him off with the light on him. We're at that crucial moment where he's about to do another strike. I think. Oh yeah, Blackie in the corner is about to go. Oh. There it was, we got strike number two on camera. Hell yeah. That's strike number two. We'll see if he's gonna kill them all first and then go eat. He is more of a hunter, hunter eater than he is just a uh, eater. Um, we've tried the, the frozen reheated mice and that's not really his, uh, his, his thing. Let me get this little guy over here. We'll just focus on this. We got we did get a plumper one, which is nice. I wish they had more plumper ones like that. That little guy. All right. We got a fighter fighting for his life. Yeah, I'm sorry, little meese. But it is the circle of life, and uh, you are giving your life to feed another's. So I thank you for your sacrifice. Damn, that little guy's about to jump out of the tank. Tank here. Let's uh, let's just put a topper back on, just in case they try to. That one, this little guy's a jumper. All right, we're gonna do a pause. All right, looks like he's uh, gonna ingest his first kill. 
or a second kill. Yeah, I almost think I could get away with giving them a small rat if I could find somebody that has small rats. That's not frozen. Yummy. Heist is a hungry boy. And that little mouse knows what's up. Again, little ones, I appreciate your sacrifice. In this, the circle of life. Dead mouse! <laughs> <clears throat> Usually I don't shake all of the, the mice in there at once, but they all kind of just shot out at one time, so he got a mask, he gets to do him he gets to have a couple of them cruise around while he's doing his thing. It also kind of helps keeping the cats uh, away from being too nosy while he's doing this. Yeah, my handsome buddy. Such a good snake. Still can't believe they're trying to charge my buddy freaking out the butt per month to have a snake in his house. Who stays in a freaking tank night for most part. And then when we have him out to let him curl around on us and stuff. Taking it nice and easy. We'll do a we'll do a cut break right here. Ooh, baby, some forward progress. Almost got that first one down. We'll see if he's gonna go for the first kill and go to eat that next, or if he'll go for another kill. That'd be a lot cheaper on me if I didn't have the kitties, because then I could just have a a, a live mouse tank going where I could just breed my own mice. But I do love my kitties and uh, because of that I unfortunately won't be able to raise the Mises which I think I'd probably slightly get more attached to when it comes to feeding time. So that as well kind of added to the that decision. All right, he's got that bad boy right down his gullet. You can see that, that bulge in there where the Mios is. I'm going to talk to the, the pet store guy again when I go in next time, see if I can't um, get some baby rats out of him, or if I can't find out who he, uh, who he gets, uh, if he does his own breeding and whatnot for the, the Mises. Bam! Oh, right on. Well, he wasn't even done finishing that last one. I'm glad I was recording when I did. He got the, he got the water bowl. <laughs> We got water dished, which I need to put some water in when I leave him in. Let him sit in here for a little while and just kind of digest his meal. Yep, little black guy. Hanging out by your dead friend. You were the one that almost got away. Although I'm guaranteeing if you would hit the floor, my cats would have had you in seconds. We're just going to flash away real fast because, pardon my mess. Da -da. Pardon my mess. I gotta clean up today, straighten up some shit. Been rearranging around here a bunch, so we got stuff kind of stacked up in piles everywhere. Alright, that was a good strike. Glad I had the camera. Oh yeah, he ain't wasting no time. Oh, looks like he's going to go butt first on this one. 
Yep. He's taking it by the butt. And then I'll hang around and let him uh, make his last strike. And I'll let him eat the, the last two in peace. I'm sure he'll uh, appreciate that more. Thank you for your sacrifice, little one. We had a quick little intermission here. This is uh, what little snow we had. I seen some footprints out here and freaked the hell out until I seen the, the paw prints. So it looks like the uh, fiance let the boys out for a minute this morning. All right. He's got them all wrangled into the center of the tank here and he's just trying to process them into his, into his gullet here. You might realize that he's grabbing them from a bad side and then turn them, grab them from the other direction, we'll see. And then we just got the little guy in the back. I always feel bad for the final mouse that's left during the feeding. I understand a lot of things freaking scared shitless, but unfortunately that's his life. Ooh, I think Ice might go. Might I think Ice might have. Nope, nope. I thought he might have. Might have realized he left one live. Oh, yep, baby. Yep, there it is. Oh, there he goes. He knows he's got another one in there. That little dude just jumped. Freaking jumped like nobody's business. Now Heist is doing his detection. He knows it's in here. Come on, buddy. You can do it. It's right here. You almost got it. There you go. Sometimes a little help in the hand to direct him in the right direction helps. And a word of the wise, never, ever stick your hands in the feeding tank. Why there is live food. Why there is dead food. Unless you absolutely have to. <clears throat> we did have a fighter the one time that uh, wanted to uh, get a little handsy, a little, little bitey with him. Tried to attack him once. Sorry, camera's bad, in a bad spot. I'm trying to, trying to coax him into... Getting his li his last livey. You almost are there. Oh, game over, buddy. Damn, did good, man. You lasted probably about fifteen minutes inside the freaking rumble room. Oh yeah, and this is this natural life at its finest. Couple more kicks and you should probably just about be done. I wonder how it looks from above. Ooh, that's not a bad view actually. I'm gonna... We'll do a top down on him on highest here. Nope. Yeah, that one didn't put up as much of a fight at the end as I thought expected. All right. And the slow uncurl <clears throat> before the devouring. Ooh, you got that one in a pretty good spot. 
It's alright, little guy. But again, thank you for your, uh, thank you for your sacrifice. Pretty quiet kills today. Pretty quiet. Trying to get a good view of here for y'all. He's maneuvering the mouse into the right. All right, now he's got his now he's got his haul, and he'll be able to eat and be a happy boy. <clears throat> if you're all interested in in owning a, a snake, I, I highly recommend it. Ball pythons seem to be pretty uh, pretty easy going, um, very mild mannered for the most part. And just as long as you keep the you know their upkeep on them, they they're pretty uh, pretty easy. So I mean, not hard. Just make sure to get a good feeding schedule going for them. Make sure they're getting enough food. Keep them some fresh water. Make sure they got you know they have a tempered tank. Their tanks tempered for them. Heat lamp. Heating rock, heating pad, whatever you got to do to keep the temperature in the tank form correctly. Because if they get too start getting too cold or stuck in too cold of an environment, they will not want to eat. They'll go into uh, what I've been told is a hibernation mode, where they'll just kind of stay pretty much curled and coiled up and stuff. But all right, this thing's just ran good and long. Um, I'm gonna let him uh, just kind of do his thing and finish up uh, eating. Unless he starts to grab one of these, I'll stay and record the next one real fast. If he does, the next moment, moment, next minute or so. He's getting ready to, it looks like. He'll grab one of them and eat them in a second here. He's just got to check his tank out, make sure he's got everything taken care of. Yeah. Make sure nothing else cruising around. All right. It's funny because he's got them all all dead in one one area, one little spot over here, which is kind of hilarious. All right, buddy, they're all they're all waiting for you now. They're still warm and ready to go. Yeah, there you go, right by the head. Good man, smart snake. All right, yeah, we'll watch him. We'll watch him. Uh, suck this down this will be a long longer video but i hope that i hope you all enjoy if you make it this far in um let me know if you'd uh let me know if you want to see this kind of stuff more often i'll i'll record his feedings more than happy to record these if i'm around for them usually i'm at work on saturdays when it happens it just happens to be the saturdays that we have to go in so but this weekend not so much with the little bit of snow we have out there and stuff Nom, 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 nom. Nom, nom, nom. <laughs> That's what's up. Such a handsome freaking snake. I love you, Heist. Yeah, you're such a cool boy. So easy going, so well mannered. I have gotten snipped. Uh, I have gotten snipped at a couple times when it's close to feeding. Lesson we learned, and a uh, word of advice from the buddy is to put him up here in his feeding tank before you bring the mice in, because then he starts getting into a feeding frenzy a little sooner than you need. So I noticed if we get him up here, if one of us is home and puts him up here while the other one's pulling in with the food, usually we're pretty docile at that point, and then. 
a couple days after feeding, I usually will uh, start handling him again after I've gotten him back in his tank and he's had time to do the full digest and kind of just relax. And I'll take him out for about an hour with me every night or so. Every other night, let him kind of curl around on me a little bit. He's my buddy. My kitties are super interested every time he feeds, except for right now because I'm standing right here recording this. Proud of his, proud of his kill he is. Nom nom nom. And again, <clears throat> thank you for your sacrifices, Muse. Oh, good job, Heist. You kicked a piece of wood out this time. I know the last time you pretty much ate a piece of wood, and it was quite comical, actually. So you kept trying to kick it, trying to spit it out, and it wouldn't go, and you just ended up sucking it in. I'll show this video to the part of the video to the dude or get a picture of you so I can get a better estimate by the pet store of what I, what size I should be feeding you and make sure we're feeding you correctly. I just want to make sure you're a happy and healthy snake. I was entrusted with your care and I will do as good of a job as I can for you, my buddy. Feeding snake. And don't forget, if you made it this this far into the video, seek Kyle. He has the information you need. And by the way, I am Kyle. Alright. Alright, we're gonna cut it here.